So, hi. Hello. Catalina? Yes. Hi, great to meet you. And thank you for giving us this moment here at Mandress and telling us what you think about men's fashion. Do you have any thought? Do you ever think about men's fashion? Absolutely. I work with it every day and I see men and I see their habits. And definitely all the designers have to move with the way men, like, and men nowadays. So it has to be comfortable. It has to be, it has to be looking good because men worry more and more about how they look. They start wearing accessories, they start grooming themselves, so they basically pick up more of the, I would say, feminine um, habits. Okay, so you think, so you think men are, are now, you're seeing more and more guys moving towards a more fashion conscious mindset, is that what you're saying? Absolutely. Starting with the grooming the, and, and from hair, head to toe, so to speak. Yes, absolutely. And I think more and more men start reading fashion magazines and following blogs because it's so much more accessible nowadays and there are so many influential people who give them the trend and I feel like more and more men want to follow that. Do you think it's a particular type of men that are becoming more and more fashion conscious or do you think that it's just all men based on trends or it's definitely not all men, but the ones who want to draw more attention. Sometimes some of them want to be more fashion oriented because that because they think that women like it more, or maybe they're trying to just in general look good. Because I feel like millenniums, this is a new generation, and uh -huh. young men nowadays wants to look better. They go to the gym, they want to dress better, they want to look sharp. I feel like that there is, if, if, if we compare a man 10 years ago with a man now, you will see much more men who try to dress up and try to follow the trends. So you think it's almost generational or is it just that it's becoming more and more popular from a media point of view, um, giving men are seeing more opportunities to look better or is it just generational? Well, I think that it is definitely media and the internet and blogs and it all influences our mind in general so well, well that's pretty good because at a man dress you know that's exactly what we're doing we want to um, engage more in a conversation about uh, men and fashion and open the field if you will for men to become uh, more free in expressing themselves in a fashion oriented way yeah I think that men want to look good but at the same time they want their clothes to be comfortable because I think it used to be associated with being in the tight suit or wearing something that makes you feel uncomfortable nowadays all the designers get into like creating joggers it's something between the regular pants and something and sweatpants it is looking like a nice band but it's comfortable at the same time so you can you can go around somewhere in it or you can attend a nice event depending on what you wear it with and more and more pieces like that I feel like are more appealing to men so so you're finding that designers are now trying to appeal to not only men's comfort but also the aesthetics in True. in the men looking good and you're thinking that's being um, expressed mostly within the in the pants that men wear or are they well, this is things? just my observation about the pants because uh -huh. I don't remember seeing this kind of dressy jogger pants like earlier like even five years ago mm -hmm. I think it's moving more everybody wants wants to be sportsy and this lifestyle is affecting choices that we make in fashion as well I was something that is really comfortable but at the same time really good looking just because of all these trends that are coming with um, sports related I think. So a lot of men's fashion trend you, you see it as being more sports related? I think so. I think it's 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 becoming more comfortable, it's becoming because everything is moving so fast and you have to and I feel like Nowadays we have to run and we have to make sure we do everything on time. So mm -hmm. even the suit it needs to be comfortable because men want to be able to get things done. Mm -hmm. 
without feeling it. Mm-hmm. And as a woman, um, do you think, just given your observation as a woman, is there anything about men's fashion, um, including the concept of sports to dress uh, outfits, is there anything about men's fashion that you think needs more change? Or is there something else that could happen with men's fashion? Or as a woman, do you are you satisfied with the way how men are looking? I think that men need to be sometimes a little more educated about how to combine their clothes together. That's why, um, like, in all the men's stores, you will see a lot of mannequins because they want to see the whole style. So I feel like maybe creating the pieces that will obviously go together or when, when you create something make sure that you add as many styles and as many combinations of, of, of garments as you can. So I can't say anything about like the, the trends and the styles that I think should be implemented but I think that men will definitely pay more attention on something usual that they can see on the mannequin or in the magazine mm-hmm. or in the advertising mm-hmm. or creating a new brand. It's all about mm-hmm. different looks. Mm-hmm. They want to see the whole outfit. Mm-hmm. So we do, we do know that men are in fact rather visual. I've always found it rather ironic based on that fact um, that men's clothing seems rather muted in terms of tone and color and also um, in terms of combination, like you're saying. Um, what we're doing here is we're uh, trying to bridge the gap, if you will, between what we know now of men's fashion to what we envision uh, men's fashion future will be. Um, and what we're finding is that uh, many men are feeling that, like you're saying, uh, we need to create more depth uh, for men in terms of colors and textures and so on and so forth. And you see that happening in your observation uh, altogether as well. Absolutely. Um, I think that some brands are really, they go to the extremes, they add a lot of, a lot of details, a lot of shiny logos, and some other brands elegant probably I see the opportunity in something combining the details and something classic so something in between flashy and too stale so Mm -hmm. I feel like there is an opportunity in in that Mm -hmm. in that area Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so well I can join you in that as a woman and say that there are numerous opportunities um, to create more choices for men, um, giving them more opportunities to express themselves um, from a fashion point of view. My observation often is that men um, often do not look beautiful. Um, women, we spend a lot of time on our clothing and we have a lot of choices. Um, and looking around, men have, it seems, very limited choices. So I'm interviewing you here as uh, the first woman um, on, on our show, and I appreciate you sitting with us and talking um, and giving us your observation and your opinions. Uh, recently, uh, there is a, a trend, if you will, of men wearing legless garments. Here at a man dress, we call it a match. Um, it's now designers are coming out with it more and more Uh, a lot of men want to embrace it we believe it's not so readily embraced because it's not so available for them or they don't see other men wearing these garments would you embrace that as a woman would you like to see men wearing those garments generally Um, what do you think about that Um, that will definitely look different. I really, I don't mind, um, I don't mind seeing this kind of garment on the man. I'm all about experimenting and seeing something unusual, but I think that a lot of men complain nowadays that there are so many, so many things that they can find for women and not that many things for men. So, right. So, if they see that this is normal, because they often worry about, oh my god, what other people are going to think about me, to sure. to too crazy so if, if, if it becomes a trend and 
they see it in the magazines and they think that it's that's trendy, I think I'll definitely would like to see that. Also, you think it should become something as as a matter of course sure. for men's added to men's to Why men's not? wardrobe. I yeah. feel like that would be nice. Yeah, I do too. I think so too. Well, Catalina, I want to thank you so much for joining us and having this chat with us. And um, I hope that you'll visit A Man Dress, our website, and uh, let us know what you think. And please, let me know if you want to come back and sit with us when you've My had pleasure. more observations. Thank you so much. Thank you for choosing me. I'll be happy to share my experiences. Okay. Thank you so much. Thank you. All right. Bye. Bye.